Hey everyone, this is Sarah with SewingPartsOnline.com. Today we're gonna go over how to use a double piping foot. This is really great for home deck projects or anything that you want a more tailored look to. It comes with instructions on the back, but I'm gonna show you how to do the steps. So we're gonna install it and just start sewing. So this is our double piping foot. It can also be called a double cording foot or a double welting foot. The cool thing about this is it has the two um, kind of tunnels, I guess, guides in the back that will guide your piping through the machine very evenly and uh, create a nice neat look. On the front, the center is the needle hole. So you wanna use your center needle position. And up here is the snap-on bar because it is a snap-on foot. So go ahead and take off the foot that you already have on. Slide this one underneath. And snap it right on and you'll be ready to sew. Oops, there we go, Up, oh, there we go. So this is an example of some double piping. Um, this is each a quarter of an inch, but you can also do 3 16 or 1 8 of an inch with this foot. So what you're gonna need is some bias tape, either homemade or store-bought, and two pieces of cording. This is just some rope that I had laying, laying around. Um, it's just as good as any cording that you buy from the store. So. Now we're gonna get started. You can insert this in two ways. You can fold it over, hot dog style, and insert both at a time, kind of like, like this. You just wanna make sure that they're lined up in those grooves. Or you can do one at a time, which is what I like. It just works better for my brain if I do one at a time. Now with this foot, you can make single piping. So it's kind of has the range of things you can do. So just line it up, and I start with a little cording popping out that much but a little popping out kind of get it snug with your fingertips and put it into the foot there we go right into that left side pathway so now depending on the side of cording you use you want to move your center stitch so that it is snug up against the cord so a perfectly center needle will work, but I like to move mine over just a little bit. Oh, that's too much. I guess I moved it earlier. Okay, there we go. And that'll work for me. For the 1 8 of an inch, I'll have it like right up against that edge. So let's just go ahead and get started sewing because this is a two-part technique. I'm gonna backstitch. I'm using some green thread so you can see it, but also because I think it looks cool yeah, just a personal preference. But you can use monofilament thread, like the clear thread. You can use metallic thread. You can use the same color if you really want it hidden. Whatever you're feeling. I'll show you a couple examples of those after we finish this. So then I'll backstitch. Trying to keep my hands out of the way. Okay. So this is step one. Now what we're gonna do is get the piping, second piping, and you can either fold it into the hot dog, hot dog bun, as I'm referring to it, like this, if that's what you like, or you can put it like this. Whatever you want is fine. So you have it like this, right? Just saw, sewed the green thread, put this right by the green thread, and flip it over. Now, you can flip it over this way, which exposes some of the red thread, or, you can flip it over that way, which will have it clear. I like to flip it over this way because it gives me a little bit of a trim. Like if I wanted to use this for trim, not just to cover up, you know, upholstery staples or whatever. So I have it like this. Now I'm going to insert the two cords right in there. I want them to be lined up with their right and left um, tunnel, as I'm calling it. Are we good? Is everything nice and snug? I think it is. My fingers are making sure this is nice and snug. And here we go. Like I said, if you really want the thread hidden, just use um, the same color thread as your fabric. If you're really busy print, use some clear 
If it's busy and dark, use some smoky thread. If it's clear and light, use the, or if it's busy and light, use the completely clear monofilament thread. And use the appropriate needle as your fabric. So if I'm using metallic thread or if I'm using monofilament thread, I'm using a metallic needle. Back stitch. And let's take a look. And here we go, a little double piping. And if I was using this to just glue over some upholstery staples, then I would just cut this whole middle section kind of, I don't know, like, kind of like a fin, I guess, like a little mohawk. Um, or if I wanted to use this as trim on like the side of a pillow or something like that, I'm gonna leave this in there. So it's really up to what you wanna do. And I'll show you a few examples of some other ways you can kind of get creative with this. So like I was showing you before, this is double piping with a red thread. So it's the same color as the fabric. And then we've cut off the, the back trim. So that this would be great for gluing onto something or maybe just sewing onto something down this line. Another thing you can do, this is with monofilament thread. Also very hard to see. You can push them together and really um, hide it. Now, if you don't want to hide it and if you want to be intentional and decorative, give it a little bit more interest, a little bit more fun, like say this is for like a Christmas table runner or something like that. You know, adding in that decorative thread give it a nice sheen, maybe go over it a couple times to really give it that thick look. Or you could hand stitch in some yarn or something like that, but it gives it a nice dimension and a little bit, you know, a little bit extra something, something. And then over here, this is with like the black thread. And I really like the way this one looks. I think it's very cool, very neat. And then with metallic thread in the middle, very fun. Catches the light really well, it's just enough. So if that's what you're interested in, and you can, like I said, cut, cut off the back or leave it on, whatever you wanna do. To purchase your double piping foot, visit us online at sewingpartsonline.com, on Google Plus, or on Facebook at facebook.com slash sewingpartsonline.